Hello there, this is being God's Obedient Servant channel. Uh, today, we'll be reading Genesis chapter 5. Um, this is uh, still a new channel. Um, it is chi uh, child friendly, so you can't leave any comments. So, but this is primarily just studying the Bible and going through God's word on how he expects us to live. And I'm hoping to educate more on how we have a society today that there's a lot of things society currently allows to go on that God still disapproves of, but people think it's okay. And God says no. So I'm hoping to reach the people that will learn this before it's too late because being God's obedient servant is the core backbone of being able to get into paradise, heaven, the kingdom, whichever way you want to call it. And the Bible calls it many things. But the main the main lesson God tries to I'm sorry, the main teaching God always tries to say is only the obedient get to partake. So you have to be not just love God. Well, I mean, to love God is to obey him. But not just knowing that Jesus is the son of God. When he says, if you believe in me, you shall have everlasting life. It means if you, it's like believing in your parents. You obey them. You trust them. You follow them. That's what that's meaning. So um, I'm still having a problem with my YouTube channel. Uh, I can't leave, have any videos over 15 minutes uh, I don't know why because I have been validated of, I'm sorry verified my account has been verified but I still have problems so still trying to contact uh, contact anybody on YouTube about this anyway let's go ahead and proceed on with chapter 5 uh, this is the last chapter it's a kind of a boring chapter it's a chapter that goes along the lines of just giving you genealogy and it does give you some information in there, but it's a lot of genealogy and how long people lived and this, that, and the other. And, but this chapter goes up to the beginning of the book of uh, talking about Noah, which starts in chapter 6 of Genesis. So, anyways, let's proceed on. Uh, let's go ahead and can start this, uh, chapter 5, verse 1. It says, This is the book of the generations of Adam. In the day that God created man, in the likeness of God made he him. Male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam. In the day that they were created. And Adam lived a hundred and thirty years and begat a son in his own likeness after his image and called his name Seth. And... The days of Adam after he had begotten Seth were 800 years, and he begat sons and daughters. And all the days that Adam lived were 930 years, and he died. So in the beginning, with uh, shortly after having access to the tree of life, it does give you immortality. And it takes a while for that to bleed out of humanity. So you'll notice this, that people live quite a long time, and God eventually, he gives a maximum number later on in the Bible. As we go through, you'll see this. And of course, here we're only talking about Seth, because Cain and Abel were already created. Cain killed Abel, and Cain was banished from the land. So, proceeds on with Seth, and continue on. And Seth lived 105 years and begat Enos. And Seth lived after he begat Enos 807 years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Seth were 912 years and he died. And Enos lived 90 years and begat Canaan. And Enos lived after he begat Canaan 815 years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Enos were 905 years, and he died. And Canaan lived 70 years and begat Mahal Mahalalel. If I butcher some of these names, I'm sorry, but they are a little 
complicated. <laughs> and Canaan lived after he begat Mahalalel 840 years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Canaan were 910 years, and he died. And Mahalalel lived 60 and 5 years and begat Jared. And Mahalalel lived after he begat Jared 830 years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Mahalalel were 890 and 5 years, and he died. And Jared lived 160 and 2 years and begat Enoch. And Jared lived after he begot Enoch 800 years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Jared were 960 and two years, and he died. And Enoch lived 60 and five years and begat Methuselah. And Enoch walked with God after he begat Methuselah 300 years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Enoch were 360 and five years. Now Enoch is the first that you'll know of, of someone that does not die. It says, and Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. So Enoch did not die on earth. And there's another person you will get to them that also did not die on earth. And everyone, well, most of us Christians believe that in the end times, when the two prophets come to the wailing wall of Jerusalem, it will be Enoch and the other as we get to. Um, the two that don't die on earth, they will then be brought in as the prophets, which then they will be killed on earth, but then resurrected shortly after to show of God's strength and that they are from God. So let's continue on from here. And Methuselah lived an hundred eighty and seven years and begat Lamech. And Methuselah lived after he begat Lamech seven hundred eighty and two years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Methuselah were nine hundred sixty and nine years and he died. And Lamech lived an hundred eighty and two years and begat a son. And he called his name Noah saying, This name shall comfort us concerning our work and toil of our hands because of the ground which the Lord hath cursed. And Lamech lived after he begat Noah five hundred ninety and five years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Lamech were seven hundred seventy and seven years, and he died. And Noah was five hundred years old, and Noah begat Shem, Ham, and Japheth. So, this is the end of uh, chapter 5. It's a short chapter, but as I said, it's mostly genealogy from Adam to Noah. As you see in the other ones, is the birth of Noah. And so I'm just doing chapter by chapter. Um, as I said, there's little parts on every part of the Bible that gives us information for us to learn from. And... So, I'm just going ahead and just uh, end this one here. Go ahead and get this one posted. I'm trying to just do one one a week and have them posted before Sunday morning. Um, so that way anybody wants to follow along with me. Because I've done read through the Bible over 15 times. But, of course, as I tell anybody, you are learning the Bible every time you read through it. You learn something new. And so I just wanted to share this Bible study, this Bible reading with others of stuff that I've learned and stuff that I am learning still. So I hope you enjoy it. If you do, you can leave a like. Um, sorry, not being able to do comments or anything. But you can leave a like. You can subscribe if you want to. I'm not really doing this to really worry about having a successful channel or not. I just the Lord put this on my heart to do, so I'm doing as the Lord commands. There's, uh, you'll know the Lord commands you to do something whenever it's not unholy. That's when you know that, hey, go ahead, do it. Why not? Um, 
It's whenever you get a voice in your head saying you to do something that's against God, that's when he's like, eh, that's not from the Lord. But anyways, hope you all have a great day. Um, this is the day after September 11th. This is uh, the day after the anniversary, 20 years after the attack on the U.S. with the Twin Towers and the Pentagon and the uh, down plane in Pennsylvania where the people in the airplane fought back. So please remember those families, those survivors and their families and your you know keep them in your prayers. Uh, the turmoil that they go through mentally of losing someone like that is hurtful. And if you're their survivor, they're going to have a lot of PTSD, especially ones that survived the towers. Um, there's a great film done called Tr The World Trade Center. It's got Nicolas Cage in it. I recommend watching that. It's uh, based on true events. But anyways, regardless of that... Uh, <laughs> Hope y'all have a great day. Pray for yourself. Pray for your family. Pray for each other. Pray for our country. And pray for our world because Satan is doing a lot of work. Uh, it's causing a lot of harm. And there's a lot of hate out there today. And God calls for us to love one another. And I'm hoping we can get more godliness out there and less Satanism. But we can only do that by being obedient and others watching us and seeing us and us living a godly life is how we lead others to a godly life. So, have a great day.